My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here. Back at you with another review for Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors. And this is episode number eight. And the episode is titled Halloween Night at the Museum. Uh, first off, this episode is actually a crossover with Ultimate Spider-Man with the live-action sitcom from Disney Channel, Jesse. Probably the one episode that none of us were looking forward to. None of us. At all. But in this episode, uh, it mostly takes place, it pretty much takes place in a museum. Um, pretty much Jesse and her, the kids that she babysits. And um, even Spider-Man. They, they both go in there, try to see the exhibit, but, you know, it's closed down. And Jesse and her kids sneak back when Spider-Man tried to go in there. And um, while they're in there, Jesse pretty much releases, helps release Morgan Le Fay. But she doesn't take all the credit. One of the kids helped with that as well. So uh, eventually, Spider-Man and, uh, and Jesse and the gang have to team up in order to pretty much put Morgan Le Fay back in her armor, back in this armor she was trapped in. But um, that was pretty, that's pretty much a sum up of the episode. You know, and at the end of the episode, just to be nice, Spider-Man takes them all to the Tri-Carrier. I'm, I'm just going to call it the Helicarrier. That's all how I have always called it. But yeah, this episode, this is going to be the one episode I don't praise, really. I don't really praise this. Um, when I first heard about it, I laughed, and I'm like, what the hell? Why do this? But uh, this is probably one of the biggest mistakes that Disney has made since... One of the biggest mistakes that Disney has made since uh, acquiring Marvel. I mean, they've done multiple mistakes. Canceling... Spectacular Spider-Man, canceling Earth's Mightiest Heroes, canceling Wolverine and the X-Men. I mean, the list goes, the list keeps on going with this. I mean, there really wasn't anything that I particularly liked about the episode. I mean, the only thing I particularly liked was that this gave us our first appearance of Jack-O-Lantern. Along with Morgan Le Fay herself. But just the appearance of Jack Leonard, that's the only thing I saw good from this episode. That's really it. I mean, um, it's been quite a while since I was watching the live action Disney Channel shows. It was like when Sweet Life just ended, that was the last show I watched. Because I watched, I watched that for years. I mean, you know, as the show was going, still going on brand new. But, yeah. I mean, if you're into those shows, fine. Not going to bash you for it, but, you know, I'm like 23. You know, just not my thing is all I'm going to say. But, uh, you know, the thing I'm looking forward to most is just that Spider-Verse event. I'm pretty sure that everyone who li likes the show right now is looking forward to that event. And I think I need to start reading up on the event in the comics. Because I thought it was coming out in November, but there's all these, oh, Spider-Verse, I, I think they might be a prelude to it. I don't know. But, uh, that's pretty much it on my thoughts. Uh, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the episode and your thoughts on crossovers that make absolutely no sense to have at all. I mean, seriously. But um, 
if any of you are into the show, The Walking Dead, um, I will be um, doing a review for the Season 5 premiere, and I'm going to see about doing a live show type of review, so if you want to be a part of that, possibly being a part of that, um, all you need is a Google Plus and a webcam. That's all you need. Just give me the link to your Google Plus, whichever way you feel most comfortable with. And, um, <clears throat> you know, if you have a YouTube channel, you'll be able to promote your channel. I don't make money, so I'm not going to make money off of you being a part of it. So, uh, my name's Jimmy, and until next time, bye.